Welcome to NSU 2020 Homecoming and Alumni Week, bringing you the 2020 Distinguished Alumni Virtual Reunion. This year, in lieu of the COVID-19 pandemic, we are hosting this virtual event to highlight some of our previously awarded NSU Distinguished Alumni that have recently updated their bios and information with NSU Alumni Association. We are excited to have you here and are deeply proud of your accomplishments and contributions to our society. Let's get started with the alumni highlights. Dr. Robert Anderson. Dr. Anderson has lived a life of service to individuals who have been struck by tragedy around the world. Throughout his career as a behavioral scientist, Dr. Anderson responded to countless terrorist attacks and natural disasters around the world as a U.S. Air Force behavioral scientist. In his biography, Dr. Anderson remembers when President George H.W. Bush recognized his work with victims of international terrorism, referring to him as a quiet hero, and noted, You've done wonderful work with terrorist victims, and your positive attitude is truly encouraging. I'm deeply grateful for your efforts to help Americans who have been struck by tragedy. Thank you for your service, Dr. Anderson. Dr. Nilda Banks. As co-founder and owner of Farmacia El Tuque, a 16-year-old community pharmacy in Ponce, Puerto Rico, Dr. Banks oversees a staff of 20 employees, two of which are also NSU alumni. She serves a community of 50,000 residents, most of whom who live in significantly underprivileged conditions and have been deeply impacted by the recent hurricanes and earthquakes in their area. Banks and her staff have served the Ponce community through the aftermath of Hurricane Maria in 2017, the earthquakes in southwestern Puerto Rico at the end of 2019 and into 2020, and now, during the COVID-19 pandemic. Dr. Banks is a proud shark and an avid advocate of NSU's fundraising campaigns. Dr. Nicholas Karras. Dr. Karras is a researcher, pharmacist, and professor. He has taught myriad subjects for the Colleges of Pharmacy and Medicine at the University of South Florida. Dr. Karras is known for establishing a practice site in Florida Medical Clinic's ACO and for leading numerous successful population health initiatives in the Tampa community. His research program focuses on preventing chronic disease, diabetes, and heart disease. His research seeks to find synergistic, integrative methods to prevent cardiometabolic disease through lifestyle and medication. Dr. Karras works with individual patients in his clinic practice to address polypharmacy, while also focusing on managing polypharmacy through scalable approaches to care and thus improving the health of a population. Dr. Tyler Simon. Dr. Simon is a licensed osteopathic physician who has led a life of service in the healthcare field, developing training programs for medical educators, sharing information on new methods, and supporting colleges in the creation of their curriculum. He has also practiced both medicine and medical education at the University of Maryland Emergency Department and the New York Institute of Technology. Dr. Simon has been awarded with the American Osteopathic Foundation Educator of the Year Award and the Dr. Henry P. and M. Page Laughlin 2013 Distinguished Editorial Award. Dr. Bradley Donahue. Dr. Donahue currently serves as the Director of Family Research and Services at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. He is the editor for the Journal of Child and Adolescent Substance Abuse. He has directed intervention projects funded by the National Institute on Drug Abuse, National Institute of Mental Health, Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, and the Cirque du Soleil. His research expertise is in substance abuse, child maltreatment, family violence, conduct disorders, and the improvement of mental health and sport performance in athletes. Dr. John Frund. Dr. Frund is a cybersecurity pioneer and martial artist who was an engineer for a tech company when the September 11th terrorist attacks happened in 2001. This event motivated him to dive into the field of cybersecurity and risk management, where he has been recognized by the world's largest nonprofit association of certified cybersecurity professionals, ISC, at their 2020 ISC Squared Global Achievement Awards. Frund is recognized for his work in risk assessment and risk management strategy domains in his current and past professional roles. Dr. Judith Gartner. After graduating dental school in Caracas, Venezuela in 1993, Dr. Gartner received a Master's of Medical Sciences in Oral Biology from Harvard University School of Dental Medicine, where she specialized in prosthodontics. She then attended NSU's College of Dental Medicine and, since then, has been a dedicated adjunct professor at Nova Southeastern University's Department of Prosthodontics. Currently in private practice in Aventura, Florida, 
She continues to serve and educate her community about dentistry in Spanish, Hebrew, and English. Mr. James Hancock. After graduating from the NSU Physician's Assistant Program, Mr. Hancock has practiced as a PA in multiple specialties, as well as using his master's in public health in multiple arenas, including during the COVID-19 pandemic. Previously as COO of PM Care at Home, he was able to increase access to care to many low-income and underserved areas in our community. His company, Hancock Medical Solutions, has supported medicine and medical education nationwide, and their subsidiary, PAXL, is presently providing virtual rotations to over 350 PA students during the COVID-19 shutdown. Mrs. Donna Horky. Donna Horky has led a life of service to our community with her extensive background in the areas of training and people development. Donna has been accredited since 1987 as a professional in human resources by the Human Resources Certification Institute. In 1988, she founded her consulting business, Missing Link Consultants Incorporated, which has provided consulting and training services to a variety of organizations, including Alamo Rent-A-Car, American Express, Barclays Bank, Broward County Public Schools, Metro-Dade Police Department, MTV Networks Latin America, Renaissance Cruise Lines, and Seminole Tribe of Florida. Donna is an active NSU alumna, passionately engaged in the development and growth of our H. Wayne Huizenga College of Business and Entrepreneurship. Ms. Sharika Horns. After completing her master's degree in national security at Nova Southeastern University, Ms. Horns was selected as a semi-finalist for the Presidential Management Fellows Program and later as a Pathways Intern for the U.S. Department of State, assigned in San Francisco, California. She is an avid promoter of international diplomacy and a resource to U.S. diplomatic consulates, U.S. embassies, and traveling citizens. Thank you for your service, Sharika. Dr. Anil Itakala. Dr. Itakala, known as Dr. I, has made a name for himself as Colorado's only Ivy League trained orthodontist with multiple locations. Dr. I has been awarded by the University of Pennsylvania for his research on the impact of orthodontics on facial aesthetics. He is also proud to have been a member of the orthodontic faculty at the University of Colorado, where he taught diagnosis, treatment planning, growth, development, adult orthodontic treatment, and clinical efficiency. Dr. I is an active member of the American Dental Association. He is also an acting council member for the American Association of Orthodontists and a board member of the Colorado Orthodontic Foundation and Kids in Need of Dentistry. The Honorable Sandy Carlin. For 19 years, Judge Carlin distinguished herself as an innovator and outstanding family and juvenile court judge. She served as a circuit court judge of the 11th Judicial Circuit for almost 20 years and as an administrative judge for five years. Before joining the bench, she served on the Florida Bar Board of Governors and had an active bankruptcy, commercial, and family practice. She is a recognized expert on family law, bankruptcy law, and commercial matters. Dr. Randy Katz. Dr. Katz continues to carry the NSU value of service in several leadership roles in our community. He currently leads a team of emergency medicine professionals at the Hollywood Memorial Regional Hospital while also serving as lead medical consultant for the City of Hollywood COVID-19 Task Force. Among his many roles, Dr. Katz advises the community on health issues as medical director for the City of Hollywood and associate medical director for the City of Pembroke Pines. He also educates future physicians as an associate professor at several universities, including NSU, where he recently established the Randy S. Katz Changing Lives Scholarship designated to financially support students in the Dr. Kiran C. Patel College of Osteopathic Medicine. Dr. Bernard Lefke. Dr. Lefke culminated his military career as the Commanding General of Army South. He was awarded the Purple Heart for Wounds in Combat, as well as the Silver Star and Bronze Star for Valor. The General retired from the Army in 1992 and finished his studies as a physician's assistant at Nova Southeastern University in 1997. Along with his children, he now leads medical missions in war-torn and impoverished areas such as Bosnia, Haiti, Kenya, Iraq, Niger, Darfur, and the Amazon. He recently wrote for the John Knox Village Gazette, The key to better relations is simple. Treat others with a caring attitude and respect. Do good whenever and wherever we can. Thank you for your service, Dr. Lefke. Dr. Christopher Lynch. Since retiring from the active duty Navy in 2015, 
Dr. Lynch has worked in pharmacy academia as an experiential education director and as an adjunct professor teaching pharmacy leadership and management. Currently, he is a pharmacy supervisor for a large VA outpatient clinic in Newport Ritchie, Florida. He provides lectures and other support throughout the year at several of the Florida schools of pharmacy. He regularly gives presentations on leadership and management topics at both state and national pharmacy association meetings and conferences. Dr. Mark Marciano. Dr. Marciano has embarked on a career as an optometric physician in West Palm Beach, Florida. He specializes in the management of ocular disease, including cataract, glaucoma, and refractive surgeries. Dr. Marciano leads a family optometric practice with his wife, Dr. Brandy Marciano, with whom he recently celebrated their 20th wedding anniversary. They live in Palm Beach Gardens with their two boys, Adam, 18, and Thomas, 15, where Dr. Marciano has been a city council member since 2017. Dr. Donald McCorkadale. Dr. McCorkadale has served as a private laboratory researcher for 40 years, specializing in marine microbiology, marine pollution and toxicology, and analytical techniques and methods in marine biology. He has served as an adjunct professor in the Nova Southeastern University Oceanographic Center for 35 years, where he has been a major professor for approximately 30 capstone students, half a dozen thesis master students, and a committee member for several doctoral students. Mr. Douglas McIntosh. Mr. McIntosh has served as an officer or director on multiple voluntary bar association boards. He's a member of the NSU Law Alumni Group and has been on the NSU College of Law Board of Governors for 18 years, which he currently chairs. He has received multiple awards during his 38 year career. He founded and managed his very own law firm for over 31 years, which he later merged with a national firm, inaugurating its Florida branch in 2020. Dr. David Dwayne Mahone. Dr. Mahone is the president, owner, and medical director of Eye Care Alabama Incorporated, a multiple location eye health care clinic in Alabama. He is also a member of the American Optometric Association and Alabama Optometric Association. Dr. Mahone is a past recipient of the Young Optometrist of the Year and Optometrist of the Year awards. He is the father of four active children and husband to Sharon Mahone. Mrs. Marla Neufeld. Mrs. Neufeld is a founder and partner in Greenspoon Martyr Surrogacy and Assisted Reproductive Technology Practice Group in South Florida. Drawing from her own personal journey with infertility and the use of a gestational surrogate, Marla is honored to represent married couples, both heterosexual and same-sex couples, and individuals seeking to utilize various reproductive technologies to start a family. She treats each client with her own experience in mind and is sensitive to the fact that reproductive technology and the adoption process can be intimidating and overwhelming while also deeply gratifying. Mr. Griffin Anthony Ochigrosi. A multifaceted creator, Mr. Anthony has performed at festivals including WANI, Sunfest, and CMJ, while has also garnering licensing deals with ABC, Hugo Boss, and Disney. Anthony was the principal film score composer for the Woodstock Film Festival selected documentary, Catskill Park, as well as HBO's Call to Action and I Want to See You. After 10 years of making a living in music, in a time of limitless distraction and instant gratification, Anthony isn't concerned with trends. He leads with his music, owns his words, and represents genuine art. Mr. Jeffrey Scarpiello. Jeff has led a life of service to his country and to the veteran community. He is a client executive for Watson Health, focused on leveraging Watson Health's capabilities and solutions with the U.S. Department of Defense and federal government services. Prior to his current role, Jeff was a fire protection chief and training instructor for the United States Air Force, where he received the Air Force Achievement Medal for an act of heroism. He has previously worked at the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs in Washington, D.C. to pass legislation and healthcare policy that serves veterans. In the private sector, he has worked with several healthcare companies to provide services and benefits to veterans, closing contracts of $2 billion plus with the Veterans Benefits Administration. Thank you for your service, Jeff. Dr. William Steger. Dr. Bill Steger, a licensed osteopathic physician, has been a holistic general practitioner in West Palm Beach since 1990. He has taught osteopathic manipulative treatment since 1986 all over the United States, Canada, Norway, and China. 
He is a clinical professor at Nova Southeastern University's College of Osteopathic Medicine, Department of Family Medicine, where he has received two awards for teaching in 1989 and 1998. He also serves on the faculty of Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine, Department of Family Medicine, as clinical associate professor. Dr. Wendy Stav. Dr. Stav has 20 years of specialized experience in older driver safety and injury prevention. Her work has extended to the state and national level with her service on the Florida Aging Driver Council, the American Medical Association, AARP, American Automobile Association, American Association of Motor Vehicle Administrators, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, and the Department of Defense. She has worked with the U.S. Department of Transportation, providing the occupational therapy perspective on traffic safety issues, including child passenger safety, older drivers, and veteran driving behaviors. She authored 13 books and book chapters, 15 peer-reviewed articles, and three systematic reviews generating eight critically appraised papers. Dr. Carol Woody. Dr. Woody has been a senior member of the technical staff at Carnegie Mellon Software Engineering Institute for 18 years, which also serves as a research center for the U.S. Department of Defense. Her current research focuses on building capabilities and competencies for measuring, managing, and sustaining cybersecurity and software assurance for highly complex network systems. Dr. Woody has also been a strategic planning consultant for New York City, Yale University, and Wrangler Jeans. She co-authored the book Cybersecurity Engineering, a practical approach for systems and software assurance published by Pearson Education. Dr. Woody is also the founder of the NSU Dr. Carol Woody Changing Lives Scholarship, which financially supports graduate students at the NSU College of Computing and Engineering. Dr. Steven Zink. And last, but certainly not least, Dr. Zink is an emeritus faculty member of the University of Nevada, Reno. He has also served as Vice President of Information Technology and Libraries for many years prior, and as Vice Chancellor for the Nevada System for Higher Education from 2011 to 2016. He is also an adjunct faculty of the NSU College of Computing and Engineering. With that, we conclude our highlights section of the program. We are sincerely proud of all of you for continuing to show your shark pride while making such significant impacts on your communities and the world. Please stay tuned for email communications on the 2021 Distinguished Alumni Awards nomination process. We hope you continue to ignite positive change everywhere you go, and that you always feel welcomed to come back home to NSU to share your talents, time, and treasure. Have a good evening. Fins up. <laughs>